Okay, so over the last few videos, I've had quite a few comments on my makeup and people saying they like it. And I've even had a couple of people ask me to kind of do tutorials on it. As you can probably tell, I do quite a few I do quite a few different makeup looks. It's not all the same look or it's kind of different versions as if you will. I'm thinking about doing a series of tutorials, like different looks that I do and sort of different styles. Like this one's darker eyeshadow and lip wise. I'm thinking about doing like brighter ones and maybe even darker ones if that makes any sense at all. Since the multicolored tears I do were specifically requested, I wanted to start here and show you how I do this and how I got this specific look. Um, so this particular makeup look that I'm wearing currently is based off my look in a previous video. I'll show a picture. So I'm going to be following that kind of same color scheme with the dark eyes and the dark lips and the bright tears, but I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it a bit different because I can't, I don't particularly want like, I can't copy the same thing over and over again. I, it never works out the same way, so. Um, it's a black base look with black eyeshadow on my lids with blue glitter and then sort of a dark lip. I'm going to leave a list of the different products I used in the description as well as links to Amazon, eBay, Boots or their own respective websites. I'd like to apologise because I'm a terrible goth and I suck at blending black eyeshadow as you can probably tell. Please don't excommunicate me. As you can tell, my setup looks a bit different. I've got the same setup, but it's in front of my bed instead of not. And I might have to take breaks while filming this because the same day I uplo uploaded my Adora video, I um, I fell over and I hurt my shoulder. And then yesterday I slipped in the shower. So I'm having a lot of fun recently with all of my mishaps and uh, accidents. Somebody adopt me. I should not be left by myself. <laughs> I'm a human disaster. Welcome to my bare face. I am so sorry for your loss. <laughs> Start up with self-deprecation. That's a, such a millennial thing, isn't it? I'm quite terrible at doing my makeup in front of a camera, so I'm very sorry. I'll try my best. Do you like my makeup case? It's holographic. I love anything and everything holographic related. If I could get holographic and iridescent tattoos, I would. Like, it's to that degree. There is a cat in the background. She is black bed, black cat. Thank God she's deaf, otherwise I'd probably wake her up. Right. I know, I look very different without makeup, don't I? Um, I hope I didn't make your eyes bleed. I always use Urban Decay Primer Potion. I personally find it's the best um, eyeshadow primer. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing my makeup down there, so hopefully you'll see, and I'll try not to like lower my face. Wish me luck. Um, personally, I find this is the best um, eyeshadow primer. And I've tried God knows how many, but obviously I wear quite heavy makeup, but I find that this is really good for it. Okay. Primer done. Why did I click with this finger? What the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? So how's everybody's day going? No, that's a serious question. I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I need an eyebrow brush. I, I'm, I have a really hard time finding like decent eyebrow brushes. So if you know of one that's like nice and thin, please let me know. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my makeup because I have my makeup laid out here. It's all very pretty and colorful. Ugh. <sighs> Hope everyone's staying. I hope everyone's staying safe with like the pandemic and everything. Cardiff went out of local lockdown. Like the f Wales went into a fire break lockdown like 17 days ago, and it's finally got out of it. So people rushed to the pubs in true British style. I'm using Maybelline Tattoo Brow. It's in ash brown. Ta-da! I like using a um, neutral eye eyebrow color so that it kind of tends to not clash horribly with whatever colour hair I have because I can't be bothered to get different eyebrow products for each hair colour I have so I mean considering I have like 10 dyes in right now that's a big no
This will do. I'm terrible at eyebrows. I don't know what to tell you. These are so uneven. My god. Okay, so this part's gonna get very messy. Very, very messy. I use Barry M's Dazzle Dust and it's going to get very, very messy. It's literally just going all the way down my face, which is beautiful. And everything I need in life. So you want makeup wipes handy. You want them everywhere. Just cover your face in makeup wipes. Loose eyeshadow, brush. Can you tell that I am such a makeup guru with my descriptions of these things? Okay, then you want to take a fluffy brush blend it out but then again you also shouldn't listen to me because I'm really bad at blending black eyeshadow so do whatever blending method works for you or don't blend I'm not the blending police holy fuck usually it's like all down my face I have a class in about an hour which is fun and it's in Indes it's on InDesign which I am not a fan of yet I chose a module which heavily relies on InDesign it was either that or a module that I have to write six uh, six thousand words in. This module requires InDesign and four thousand words. You can tell which one I chose. Right. Get that off, and that's the look. <laughs> Jesus Christ, and sad. Right. Next eye. It's literally rinse and repeat on the other eye. It's not that special at this point. Oh, here comes the, the intense amount of fallout. Yes, this is exactly it. This is how I go out in public. You think I go out with all those swirls and tears on my face? No, I go out like this. Next is face primer, foundation primer, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Is anybody else really sad that Cyberpunk 27 got pushed back? Because I am. I was really hyped to play that and that's some pushed back. But I'm glad they pushed it back instead of releasing it, you know, underdeveloped. I'm glad they pushed it back instead of sort of releasing it in a fashion that they didn't like, if that makes sense. Because that would have sucked. Right, we've got to get the fringe out of the way. Gotta look weird with that fringe. Alright, now i got to wait for that to sink in. Or dry, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I swear too much. I'm going to be re-dyeing my hair soon. But I'm not quite sure what to re-dye it. Like, what colour should I go? What do you think? I always go more than, like, two or three colours. I have quite a few in my hair at this point, even though it's faded massively. I'll see if I can find a picture from when I first did it but I don't think I've got a proper one but I'm not quite sure what colours I should put in my hair this time I do want to go bright yellow at some point but I don't particularly want to do that right now but I've got my Manic Panic lined up for that and I usually use Fleming, um, Directions hair dye I bought Manic Panic because it was on sale it was like £5 a tub I was very hyped but I usually use Directions or Adore so what are everybody's thoughts on Mandalorian Season 2? I really like it so far. Oh, I'm doing my foundation now. I'm using Revolution in F0.2. I found this is pretty much the only company that does a shade that matches me. But I'm not the biggest fan of this particular formulation. They used to have a um, camouflage foundation that was really good, but they discontinued it unfortunately. I'll see if I can find a photograph of it, but that was really good. My fringe is in the way again. God damn. But... Mm. There we go. But yeah, I think I'm really interested in The Mandalorian Season 2 so far. I think it's going really well. Like... This week's episode. Like, the second episode. It's really good, but at the same time not hyped about those creatures that was a bit creepy i'm not gonna spoil anything don't worry that's as far as i'm gonna go i don't like spoilers here saying that somebody's gonna spoil something for me aren't they i'm just gonna find the end of cyberpunk and spoil it then 
now my neck and my face are starting to match. Yes, this is the fringe look we like. This is the fringe look that everybody should have. You don't have a proper fringe if your face doesn't look like this. That didn't make sense, but I'm gonna go with it. All right, I need some concealer. Again, Revolution. Put some up there. The shade is too dark for me. I don't care. Welcome to my life. I hate the feeling of like wet beauty blender. Absolutely hate it. Why does it have that feeling? Right. Now it's powder time. I always use loose powder. <laughs> Ugh, the sound of that grinding plastic. I always use loose powder. This is Makeup Revolution powder in a Rimmel pot because I prefer the pot. Don't ask me why. I'm gonna get this all over myself. But that's fine because I've got a close crop this video. This is why you should always do your makeup before you put on your clothes, kids. Little life lesson for you. So I've got that all over me now. Contour time. Okay, so personally I prefer using bronzer as contour. Like I prefer a matte bronzer, a cool tone matte bronzer. Because I don't, I don't want shiny, shiny bronzer, but I do diffuse it with a shiny bronzer but it's not overly shiny, it's regular shiny. That makes no sense. But I find this helps me stop looking overly powdered. We are done with the boring aspect of this makeup because let's be honest, that was really boring and mundane and just who cares about that part, you know? Now we're on to the fun part. The part that I get so many comments about, like about the glittery tears. Welcome to my fun part. That could be taken out of context so easily. I took that out of context myself, so. Okay, so I use loads of different types of glitter and eyeshadow toppers when I do this kind of look. Um. For this particular look on top of my eye eyelids, I used um, Collections Glam Crystals in Night Fever, which is this one. It's nice and sparkly and blue. It's a glitter eyeliner, but it works so well for this. Um, I need a pair of pliers, actually. I forgot about that. Collection has a really good range of glitter eyeliners, actually, and they're good quality and they're pretty cheap, too. I mean, they've got a good selection. Excuse you. Did you just wake up? There's a little ball of fluff right here. It's just woken up. Yeah, I know. Hello. Sneasels. Okay. They're the, like, this is my collection. There are so many. Look how many there are. They do have a few more, and they've also got a silver one, which I've run out of. That's fine. That's those. These are the ones I'm going to be using with this look, which is Shake It Up, The Freak, and Night Fever. So this is going to go all over my eyelid, and I find it's a lot easier to get it out if you remove the stopper. So when you take this out, there's a stopper there. So if you pull that out with pliers, you can get at the stuff inside a lot easier. I need to replace my one of this actually. I, don't know. I found these are really hard to find, so if you can't find that, another good alternative is this, which is um, BH Cosmetics Eye Lights in Glam Crystals, which I will add in the description because I'm going to be using it in this anyway. Alright, so then you want to put that in there, so then you get a lot of glitter on there. Then I use a brush and I do this very they do this very um, hard technique where I just go like that. It's beautiful. I'm tired, okay. <laughs> it's 
that's how I get the very shiny shininess there. I do this with different colours, it's not just blue. I thought while I do this, we'll wait for this to dry, I'd talk about what inspired me to like do the sort of rainbowy tears. I've seen different multicoloured tears before, but I started actually doing this 2019 when it was stupidly hot and my makeup started running at Pride. So I probably could have cleaned it up quite easily, but instead I just kind of decided to add more. And then it kind of turned into the monster that you see today. I look so weird. Like, I have lips, I promise. I promise I have lips. Now that that's dried, it's multicolored tear time. So what I used to do this are um, Stargazer loose eyeshadows. I've tried different eyeshadows, but I personally find this is the best one to do this with because even when they're liquid, they're still incredibly pigmented. I've used, um, where is it? Sometimes I use um, Beauty Bay's Bright palette and crush up the eyeshadow in that, but I find it's kind of translucent and not as nice. So I like using these and sometimes I'll mix them together to get a custom color. But they're Stargazer. They're also UV reactive. They're very um, washed out <laughs> in this light because it's a ring light. But it's a yellow. Then you've got green pink and blue but the UV, the UV reactive they're quite cheap and they're quite nice so I also use setting spray it doesn't matter which one small brush and q-tips so ta-da but what I tend to do is get a little bit of a color I'm gonna use pink for this one so you've got your pink I use, I'm using, this is so, so technical, such a beauty guru. Mm. You see this, this lovely setting spray here? It's like three pound setting spray. I'm using the lid. So you take the lid, <laughs> the setting spray, put a little bit of this in. Ta-da. Like that's, that's how technical it is. I feel like you guys think there's some, you know, secret or magic behind it. It's not. It's just me being an idiot and experimenting with stuff until I get, get it the way I want. And I got it all over my hands. Oh, by the way, if you do this, it's illegal to not spill the eyeshadow. You have to spill the eyeshadow as a sacrifice to the makeup gods. Right. So we got that. I... Okay, so when I'm doing this, I don't like to go like that because then it just goes and the eyeshadow goes everywhere. So if instead, you probably can't see, you press it down gently, it'll kind of squirt out a little bit, then it can be more controlled and that way you'll get sort of, it won't puff up everywhere and you won't get pink eyeshadow everywhere. So do that gently. See, even with that, you get a little bit of puff, but you don't get it to the degree that you would if you did it very kind of abruptly, right? So then we take our little brush and we mix it in. I know it's so technical, isn't it? Okay, so the next bit, once this is like, once you've got the colour you want, see, okay, so that's mixed. You put it underneath your eye and it'll start dripping down, sometimes you'll have to add more, but you want Q-tips or cotton wool buds, whatever you call them, nearby, so that when it gets as far down as you want it, then you can stop it with the Q-tip and you, it can absorb it. So, you ready kids? This is so technical. And down it goes. <laughs> this is the most technical thing I've ever done. And then, 
stop it. That's it. That's literally it. Okay. Then on the outside. But yeah, if it doesn't um, fall down, don't drag it down because I find that looks really unnatural. Just instead, keep on adding more. And like, try to manipulate your facial muscles a bit or pull down the skin or just don't manipulate the liquid itself. Because it will eventually do this. But if you like this kind of thing, you'll probably like Toshi Salvino's Dolphy. Her makeup's really cool. And I'll add a couple of other sort of links in the, in the description and some photographs up that you might like as well. Right, so once we're done with the terribly technical aspect, if you want to go to other colours like I'm about to do, just like use a wet wipe, clean it out. Ta-da. From there it's pretty much just rinse and repeat with the colours you want. I'm going to go with blue this time. Their eyeshadows are really nice though. Highly recommend. Also very useful for this. I recommend using um, loose eyeshadow for this instead of pressed because then you have to crush pressed eyeshadow and like that's just too much effort. Right, again, same process. Squeeze that out. But gently so you're not doing a massive puff that makes it sound like you're doing drugs. Also don't do drugs. Or do drugs. I... <laughs> Am I allowed on YouTube? Am I? Oh. You may find that it bleeds a little bit. But you can generally just just remove it with, with um, Quantum Wall Buds. Or you can cover it up with um, makeup, like eyeliner designs, which is what I tend to do. Or you could do both, which is what I generally do. That's that section. I know it's as technical as you thought it could be. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible, I'm terrible, terrible beauty guru. I'm just a nerd on the internet who does makeup occasionally. Uh, right. So, I've done that. I don't, I don't tend to put colour on the pink ones. I do glitter on like the blues and the greens and the, all the other colours and the purples. So, I am going to use the BH Cosmetics highlights in Gnarly. So, this is running out. Again, I'm going to remove the stopper. With my pliers. I have a class starting in 20 minutes. Move those with my pliers. Get it all over your finger while you do it because we're technical in this household. So then you want a brush. I'm going to use this brush because it's quite fine at the side. It's like quite thin. I do sometimes use like model making, like detail brushes, the very fine ones, like this fine because sometimes I do much finer designs. And then I just paint that on top like that. I look shiny now. Yeah, that's that. As I said, I don't generally do coloured like glitter on the pink ones because I like the colour of the pink, but you obviously can if you want to. Or you could just not do pink. It's up to you. I'm not your mother. You can do whatever you want. Right. 
now the fun begins. So from here on out, it's pretty much just whatever designs you want. I'm going to go with glitter and stuff. So I'm going to use the purple glitter in Shake It Up. This is a really pretty colour. I'm revealing all of my secrets to the world, however will I survive. Right, so what I'm going to do is put that in there so I have like glitter on the actual wand itself. Then I'm going to use a detail brush and just draw. It's not, it's really not very complicated when you break it down into steps. I mean, it probably looks complicated when you see it on the screen. It's like the finished project or product, but it's not complicated right now. So I'm here to break it down for you and make it look easy. Hopefully. Right. We're missing something very vastly important. Eyeliner. To the eyeliner gods. Right. I like using, um, NYX Epic Ink Liner. I personally prefer this one because it's not its not a felt tip and it doesn't have a rigid tip, it's like loads of little bristles. So I find it's a lot more fluid. So I'm just going to do like the top line over this. Oh, are you going? Where are you? Hey. I, my, my, my help has arrived. This is Millie. She's 20. That was my camera bag, Millie. She's 20. She's got one eye and one tooth and she's deaf. That's the TLDR on my cat. Right, this side. That's eyeliner at the top done. Sorry, I'm knocking things over. So now we're just onto lines on my face and stuff like that. So before I do that, I'm going to take a little smudging brush and press black eyeshadow and just do underneath my, my lash line. Ta -da. So now I'm just onto like lines on my face, which I generally do. I'm gonna put cross here. I'm gonna do just down little lines. Just like making lines underneath. I also sometimes do like outline the, the um, tears at the top, like this. but I don't always do that. We need some more glittery tears, I think. So we're gonna go for the Freak, which is like a turquoise glitter. So again, we're removing stopper. Scooping some of this out and getting the brush, getting the cat hair off it, and putting some glitter on my face. Okay, that's enough glitter for now, now that I've got extra glitter on here because the glitter previously wasn't enough glitter, clearly. I'm gonna do some more dots. Just along here. And I'm also going to do, I did in my, the, pho the reference photograph for this, I did the inner corner of my eyes, which I do like this. I do 
flow inward then join it to the bottom lash line like that. Sometimes I'll do like teardrops as seen in this photograph but with this I did that so that's what I'm doing. I'm using um, BH Cosmetics highlights in BFF, it's the silver one. So that's that part of that. Okay, so I've got my lower lash line to do, like the waterline, which I use gel eyeliner for. I'm using the collection gel eyeliner. And that lit little smudging brush. I mean, I assume you can use any eyeliner, but I, I find, I find um, gel eyeliner lasts longer. That's the eyeliner done. Mascara. Mascara. Okay, mascara done. I also sometimes do um, dots with white eyeliner, which I use collection fast stroke white eyeliner and again I'll use a detail brush get the dots on there and then just put dots on it's really simple and easy to do okay the final thing in all of this or at least the final thing that I can remember is lipstick I'm not really too sure which lipstick I want to wear for this. Hold on, I'll just grab my bag of lipstick in it. I literally have a class in 10 minutes. This is fun. Okay. This is my lipstick bag. I hate it. My ex's mother gave it to me. So I'm not really too sure what lipstick I want to use. I used matte black last time, but I don't think I want to use it this time. Um. Hmm. Ooh, I could use this one. I like this one. It's a, it's um, NYX Cosmic Metals, the glittery black one. What else have I got? I've got, I kind of want to use something, like, I don't use anything too colorful because that will clash with whatever I'm wearing now. So, these are my two choices for this. I either have NYX Machinist Lacquer, in steam or the cosmic metals lip cream in what do we think i think i'll try the the machinist one see how that looks don't know if you can hear this but she's purring behind me okay this is so weird. I generally, I generally don't wear like glossy lipsticks. I generally wear matte ones. So I look very weird right now. I am not. I mean, yeah, I'll go with it. I wanted to go with this one because considering I've got blue here, so I thought that would go. But yeah, that's it. Um, if I if I want more kind of designs and details, I'll add them. But that's pretty much it. For my next makeup video, I plan to do something more colourful, like more colourful eyeshadow wise. But if I go tend to go more colourful eyeshadow wise, I then do a matte black lipstick because I am basic. Let me know if there are any other kind of makeup suggestions that you'd like to see or that you want me to try. Um, I hope you have a good day. Toodle pit. Okay, I have to go to class now because it starts in two minutes. Um, pray for me. <laughs>